Monsieur, we have the... In this trunk... First and foremost, we must... And how do we do that? My strategy is the only viable solution. And where will we find the means to carry out... The city of Versailles is full of ateliers. Moreover, as far as we have been able to see, the king's... Very well. Now, regaining control... Mais ensuite, once peace has been restored... This is indeed a crucial issue. Leaving the nation... Worse. It would condemn... Eh bien quoi, monsieur? Unfortunately, that which we can agree is that we have been given a chance to choose... I claim this honor. Excuse me? For what reason, je vous... Enfin, simply consider... The... Speak, monsieur le marquis. To begin with, I rescued the... Do the child will reign as Henri V. We will appoint someone with great wisdom to act as regent. Fie. The people do not need... Yes, they do. A king and a constant... Go on, Monsieur Le Marquis. I have the gunpowder that the king had seized. With it, I shall ensure the security of the... How can we be sure that you will not use it to oppress... We know your ambitions... And you wrongly accuse me. Do you forget that in America... Of course not, mon ami. You are quick to condemn men of... Monsieur, I... Very well. Miss, may each of us respect who among you approve... <laughs> The court bows before the Marquis de Lafayette, Lieutenant General du Royaume. Louis de Bourbon, former King of France, in the name of King Henri, fifth of his name, in light of the innumerable crimes of which you have been found guilty, this extraordinary royal court sentences you to the ultimate atonement. The sentence will be carried out on the hour in its great mercy, the court will now hear your last words. My loyal subjects, since you must lead a lamb to the altar, since you must offer a sacrifice to this new France that you intend to found, I will be that sacrifice. How dreadful this world is, where beauty is doomed to fade and flesh decays. I found no consolation in this world. I vainly thought I was giving our souls the gift of immortality beyond our mortal bodies. The Grim Reaper was my sworn enemy. Influenced by the most awful of men, I believed that the genius of machinery could overcome death itself. Alas, I have lost this fight, and I'm branded with a mark of murderer. Life, even more than the crown, was heavy for me to bear. I have suffered too long under the thumb of nature, which I despised. As a child, I saw my older brother die. I lost my father in the prime of his life, and then my mother, who was even younger. My beloved daughter did not live a year. As for my son, the first of my heirs, I unknowingly gave him to drink from a poisoned cup. I mourn the death of these poor souls daily. My death will not unite us, of this I am certain. For I, in my misery, have lost the support of my faith. So, executioner, lay me down on this board, but you, I will sleep now. Sleep at last, and not to dream.